Hiya Hiya from the home of Walt Disney on ice. Well, he was chirogenic. They put him away. I think they wouldn't do that in Florida because the ice would melt, and then he'd have to come back and kick someone's ass like the governor of <laughs> of Florida. Imagine Disney coming back to life after being frozen all these years. Speaking of frozen, <laughs> isn't that one of their great hits? I'm just here making fun of everything because everybody hates everybody and everything all day long, except for me. I'm the guy who loves everybody. I think it's fun. And my good buddy, you know, uh, Weird Al Yankovic. They just did a movie about him with the kid who plays in, uh, in Harry Potter playing the part of Weird Al and Weird Al Yankovic playing that accordion which he was famous for. Of course, he's from Cleveland, the mistake on the lake. I'm from Buffalo, which is the other mistake. A couple of mistakes, you know. <laughs> so what, what would they have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I am in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, and so is Weird Al. Uh, and Al's not that weird. He's the, he was celebrated because of Beat It. Remember the Michael Jackson parody? For one thing, he did a lot of them. He was a very, very good guy and funny. And the accordion always stands out. Les Paul, who invented the electric guitar, essentially, he says to me, uh, he hates the, hated the accordion. The accordion was his unfavored instrument. And I, I used to always tell the story in New York, when you shop at Christmas time, you have to be very careful. In earlier days, you know, now it's a little different after pandemic, but you, you'd come to New York and you'd see all the great lights and the Fifth Avenue is bustling with activity and people, you can't park on Fifth Avenue, but you can on a side street. And you have to be very careful you have to watch everything. You have to lock your car before, uh, uh, actually, uh, you, you, at these days, you better have a guy card, guard your car. But it was, it was something that you had to do. You had to make sure you locked it. So this one guy had an accordion, and he was an accordion player from Buffalo in a polka band. And he, uh, he put the accordion on the back seat of the car when he went shopping. And uh, he, he forgot to lock the car. So when he came back, there were two accordions. <laughs> That's Les Paul's favorite story that I tell. <laughs> the accordion is a strange instrument, but so am I. And I, I think uh, one of the strangest things happened last night. Uh, David Chappelle, you know, the uh, actor, remember, remember Living Color? Well, the, the Living Color is, is really not the favorite thing of a lot of people. Uh, he is a transgenic, uh, ho transphobic, comic. He did transphobic material. I don't, whatever the hell that is. I don't know what that is. But uh, the, uh, do you know what transphobic comedy material is? <laughs> it sounds like something that we order on, in a catalog and it arrives from Amazon. Transphobic material, you know. Uh, I think that he was very, very popular for a long time, getting away with being irreverent. And someone attacked him last night on stage in L.A. Uh, so guess who was in the audience? Well, of course. Uh, a couple of his friends, a couple of comics, one of whom was uh, most recently attacked on the Oscars. Uh, I think Chris Rock was in the audience, got up and, uh, and, and sued the wounds of a little bit and held Dave Chappelle and said to the audience, uh, yeah, well, you know, he made light of the attack saying, well, it was probably Will Smith, so that he could get a big laugh and stay in the comedy vein. But nobody was hurt, but it was an attack. And, uh, and, and poorly done, you know, I mean, people are crazy now. They jump out, of, they break the third wall. They jump out now. People are, see, social networking has made people performers and directors and producers and entertainers. All of a sudden, everybody who's watching everything all this time thinks that they can do it. Then they get up and they try to do it and it's done. The one who did it the best was in the, uh, with the Queen of England uh, the other day, some guy who was posing as a priest he got so far as to actually be kept the night in Windsor Castle. The queen wasn't there. She's in her other, her other uh, trailer camp. But, you know, she had the, the Windsor Castle is guarded by, by a lot of security. And the guy, I think he said he was friends with Prince Andrew. So they let him in. They, he stayed the night. And they gave him breakfast in the morning. And then somebody at 8 o'clock in the morning discovered, wait, what's this guy doing here? He don't belong here. And they found out that he was an intruder. So uh, if you want to break into a, a place, uh, just pretend you're a priest. A lot of priests are trying to break out. So we have this now, this here thing, which is the uh, favorite of the owl. The, no, you don't like the Panthers? No, well, we, Buffalo, you know, we've had the Buffalo teams have never, ever won the
the Stanley Cup. But we've seen it, <laughs> and we're so close to Canada, you know, because <laughs> most of the good hockey players come from Canada. That's why you see so many people with bad teeth or without any. That's, that's what happens, and they always fight, you know, in the hockey games. They hit each other with the sticks. That's why they're wearing heavy equipment now. Used to be uh, that was the Dennis' favorite teams were the hockey teams. And uh, the, the, the story goes that, you know, you went to a hockey game and a fight broke out. But we always say now, I went to a fight and a hockey game broke out. So this is the Panthers. They did well. And my favorite flower, which is the gardenia. Now, the guys are coming to do the lawn right now. Uh, as you know, the Mexicans are here, and I asked him to push the reverse button and go back to the wall, but they don't think that's funny either. This is the gardenia. I wish I could share this with you. It's my favorite flower. They last only about a day, though. It's not. Uh, it's a. It's a quick. It's a quick fix, you know. And and you can't make any drugs out of this flower. That's why nobody cares about it. All these other things, like even aloe vera. I don't know how they ever convinced people that was to cure cancer. But a lot of people believe that they believe in alternative medicine. I do too. My, my idea of alternative medicine is to not take any at all. Did I just wet my pants? Oh, sometimes I do. Depends. Uh, so this is a different kind of a broadcast that I do on, on the air here. I was on WABC the other night with uh, Frank Marino and Morano, and I, I don't mind plugging him. He's on all night, which was my old position. I think I've mentioned this before. And he was gracious enough to give me an hour. And I, I felt like, God, Frank, I talk too much. And I realized, wait a minute, this is a talk show. <laughs> See, you're not supposed to talk when you do a talk show like I'm doing here. You're supposed to, Johnny Carson didn't talk. He did a monologue and then you hang out with people. And you don't do all the talking. You can't. Nobody can do. I was on the air four or five hours every night. You can't talk that much. Uh, you, you know, your tongue would be on the sidewalk. So you, what you do is you, you kind of like uh, book people who are interesting if you can. So I, I guess I was an interesting guest the other night because I did all the talking. And I realized, wait, I was in the other position now. It's fun to be, uh, to be on the air, but you got to have some skills. You don't just get yourself an iPhone and a studio set up with a good microphone and a and a uh, lighting system, and then you go on social networking. Social networking is for amateurs. Well, so is podcasts. That's for people who actually, they're for professionals who can't get back on the radio because there is no radio. Not, not as you knew it, it's all a Bluetooth, speaking of hockey players without any. But you know, the, the Bluetooth is the, uh, is the carrier of the signal that comes through the air with your Wi-Fi or else uh, with your phone plan that you get on one of these platforms, you gotta pay for it. Everything has a fee anymore, you know. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta pay as you go. Uh, even the Easy Pass, you've had that, right? I even use that for hookers. Uh, this, is a, this is a difficult time to live because I'm an older guy and I'm at the home for the relatively unimportant. Uh, they don't want me here too much longer. Uh, you know, there is a, there is a, a, believe it or not, old people who get pensions and live this long are not wanted. <laughs> There's signs that say, not wanted, <laughs> no help needed, go home. But wait a minute, this is home. <laughs> this is the, the home that I'm assigned to, the old jocks home. And old jocks never, they don't die, they just seg away. Is that a bad joke? No, well, they're all bad. <laughs> no one's going to jump on stage and attack me because I don't offend anybody. I'd have to attack myself. Ah! So watch the Weird Al Yankovic movie and, uh, and keep, your, keep your wits about you because nobody is going to rob you of that. They're, we're all out of intelligence, so <laughs> there's no market for it. <laughs> nobody wants to buy intelligence anymore. They just want to invest and be stockholders and have the profits and the checks come in and not have to do any work. This is the American way now, you know. I was thinking that if, uh, if we're going to continue on with this stuff and they want to, some people want to bring Trump back and he's standing behind other candidates, pounding his chest like uh, King Wrong. And uh, not to make fun of him, but I will tell you that my favorite guy for the president of the United States would be Putin, because there's a guy that knows how to run a country into the ground. It's a uh, Reynolds rap. 